Look at this proper cyclocross. Look at the mud. Bloody hell. Running. It's a running race today. Another week going round in circles. An hour of cyclocross and it was race day. We are at round, I think it's round seven of the Wessex League. And pancakes were consumed this morning. So we are on to a winner. The rocket has pulled through this week. We have the rocket fuel chocolate chip pancakes. I'm not sure why she's wearing a hat indoors. <laughs> It's like your new chef look. So a new chef look, but pancakes are going down today. No excuses today. And pancakes are served. Nutter and a hat, ready to eat her breakfast. But this is what excites me about cyclocross. When we have pancakes, best bit of the day. <laughs> but this week it is going to be interesting. Don't be fooled by the sun because there's no other way of putting it. But it's been absolutely it down and, <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be more of a running race than a riding look at this over here people are paying to do a bike race probably can't see it it's a flipping running race today oh, look at the grind it looks bloody miserable i'm trying to find my inner mo farah because look you've either got a grind you're getting overtaken by a runner it is quicker to run look at the mud Flipping hell, I bet he can't wait for me to get home with two muddy bikes covered in crap. Oh. You Look at it. I don't think the camera does it justice. We've got to get closer. That is disgusting. So course inspection, it's bloody muddy and these people look bloody miserable, don't they? <laughs> I guess this is what they call proper cyclocross though. People actually look forward to this. I mean, I sort of wanted a bit of mud, but I was like thinking a tiny bit, not like an absolute mud bath. I just wanted a little bit. It's practice lap time. I'm gonna go and do a practice lap. A, probably a practice run, I should say. I'm gonna get the legs ready to run round a lap. So a little look at this week's course, and this was probably one of the only rideable bits on the course. It was pretty dry now. Down the start straight, start finish straight was actually rideable. And then you come into this mud patch and that is where it just turns to absolute hell. The next part of the course is just absolutely caked in mud. I mean, we're riding it now in this practice lap, but there was another three races than ours so by that point the course was just in an absolute state you can see how thick the mud is and you're just like grinding there's just a couple of corners you are grinding and absolutely moving nowhere so it was pretty much running this whole section in the race was just run 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 and then even this little downhill bit you still had to pedal to go downhill because the mud was so thick and you're just trying to find any part of green grass because that is the bit where you know you're going to get grip and actually be able to move but coming out of here you're just grinding and going nowhere not too muddy i don't know what the complaints are about you know <laughs> literally weren't even moving then trying to get some tips off the league leader <laughs> a nice fast section of the course here lovely lovely so the next section completely unrideable again that was a run up towards the pits then you were into the hurdles still running you're pretty much running the whole way in the practice lap we were able to ride it like i said but this whole section here that loops round to the pits was all running in the race that was completely unrideable you could actually ride down past this pit straight it was tricky but it was rideable. Then this back section, you could actually get a little bit of speed. A couple of corners. The corners were slippy, but this bit was rideable. So it was good in the race. This is where I was making up quite a lot of time. Being able to ride this section and then back up towards pits as well was dry enough to ride. But then once you got to pits, it was an absolute mud bath. And it was just running, running all the way down until you got to this last little section start finish straight and you could actually get back on and ride again here's the true champion today the legend himself and 
just like that, clean bike. Bottle cage off, need it nice and light today. <laughs> Ladies race is just going off, unfortunately. No racing for Gravel Granny this week. After last week when um, Dad said to her she had a lap left, she got home and whacked him <laughs> round the head. Turns out Dad's got a pretty strong head <laughs> and she's come off worse than in a cast. Well, operation. So Gravel Granny's out of action. No curry tonight with her winnings. <laughs> well done. Oh, well she's done. Right, yeah. No, no, the Wessex League running race. Have a nice run. Come on, Lindy. Go on, Lindy. No. No. Come on, ladies. Keep running, find your rhythm. Nice. All the way. Gravel Granny has had an absolute result. Look at the smile on her face. She's like, look at these bloody idiots. I paid, tw paid 20 quid to do this. Come on, Kaza. Just getting some pre race practice in ready for when I do not shoulder the bike because this is the most uncomfortable position ever. I really wish I'd practice this now. <laughs> the Rocket's got the right idea today. Feet up, bag of flaming what's it. She's living the dream. Today's course is going to be one, who's the best runner and two, who can put up with the most misery because you probably saw from the practice lap that I've just inserted in the video. I didn't ride much of it. I was just walking it. Uh-oh, rain incoming. It's the Grand Vets racing now. Oh, there's a crash. There's a crash. You do not want to be going down in this mud. Look at this. just got caught in a disgusting downpour. The camera lady is not happy about the weather conditions. All is good though, nothing will dampen the spirits because we have the pre-race pancakes. Yeah boy, she is not happy. She was like, cross is actually here now. I remember how miserable it was. I didn't say miserable. You're good as, that's your- No, your... I just said- Remember how horrible it was, all the mud. Yeah, it's just a month. Here we go then, the main event, the Wessex running race. And I actually got a good start. I was in like maybe fifth position off the start, but it was carnage. Everyone was just bumping into each other, hitting each other. So yeah, around that first corner, I think I was like one, two, three, four, about fifth place. And I was like, I'll tell you what, this ain't too bad, this mud, mud business. I'm actually going all right here. And then we had to get off the bike and start running that's where it got interesting so by half a lap later i'd gone from sort of four fifth to slowly the whole world is coming past me and i think i'd fallen back to about 10th place and i was getting slightly worried Come then on, i thought i was actually quite a good runner until everyone started pelting past me i just couldn't get used to shouldering the bike so you can see even here i'm pushing the bike and the guys that uh, were able to shoulder the bike and run with it were just moving a lot faster and I didn't feel comfortable. I mean, the guy in first place here, he, he needs to take up running. He was an absolute beast. If there's a sport where you can run with a bike, he was a beast. But I dropped back to, I think I was in about 11th place at this point, um, three quarters of the way round lap one. And I was just like thinking, oh, this is going to be another bad day at the office because I was just really struggling to keep up with these guys running. A lap later, I had started to get the hang of actually shouldering the bike. Dad was going absolutely nuts at me, but you can see coming into this section here, I was trying to stupidly ride it and then you just had to get off. But still, I wasn't really confident getting the bike on my shoulder. So it's definitely something to practice, but absolute champion, Dad doing the bike changes hero throughout the race but then we got into this group uh there was about i think there was three of us so you can see tim at the front started to pull away then there was phil the i think the next guy's called henry and then me and i was just working my backside off to try and get back in this group you can see us all here we were close enough but they were definitely better runners than me so 
I was trying to ride, as you can see here, as much as possible because that was when I was making up all my time. You can see I was closing the gap there. Yeah, I was working hard, but it was a big benefit. So this was the group I was trying to get onto, Phil uh, and me running there. I'm slowly getting better. Look how uncomfortable I look with the bike on my shoulder. That is absolute chopper moves there. But I was trying to close the gap down to Henry and Phil. We had started to slowly move back up. Oh, a bit of footage of me actually riding a bike today. It was a bike race. I would slowly clawed them in now. So you can see there's probably only like 10, 15 meters now to get back onto the little group in front of us. There's a group of four of us lap by lap, slowly chip away and catch back on so this group of us here this group of four we were in a battle now for fourth place so it was i'm not sure the guy in the black's name but it was henry me and phil and you can see the got this henry just turned the pace on running wise and i tried to go with it and he put me seriously in the hurt locker here like my legs were just screaming at me and just slowly running in mud and We'd started to distance Phil a little bit here. I was back on trying to ride just as much as I could. So at, in this place, I was in fourth position now and we were battling it out. But Henry managed to get back on my wheel past me and he was a seriously powerful runner. So I was trying absolutely everything to stay with him. But he dropped me last lap. Um, he took fourth. I managed to come through in fifth. <laughs> there he is, today's true hero. He is covered. After I did, I did message Ali this morning, or Gravel Granny, sorry, and said, don't worry about hanging around. And I changed bike every lap. <laughs> yeah, and dad, we, we could have got a bit of dad cam this week, but I don't know, did you catch it? All I heard was, Put the bloody bike on your shoulder! <laughs> Bloke in the pits, the coach is going, well, what he should be doing, he says, he should be on his shoulder, he said, like that. He goes, but he might just be bony, he said, like that, and it might just hurt. He said, in that case, he said, get a little bit of padding under the frame for him to put it on his shoulder, <laughs> like that. Yeah. But you are right, he's slow when he runs with the bike. Oh, it was killing me. That is the aftermath. Is it aftermath or math? Aftermath. Oh, What's the south? <laughs> aftermath. The aftermath. I'm instructed to have a shower now. Bloody hell, what a day. I've literally just managed to get all of the mud off me. Literally covered in it. But happy with fifth place finish. Back on the, well, sort of the podium. And £10 back in the pocket. Making money! <laughs> Here comes the money! But I don't know if you could call that a bike race. It was a blimmin' running race with my bike. I ran more than I rode today, but like Sarah on the camera, what a legend, just like running through that mud, trying to get the footage. I and call it running. Running or like sort of speed walking through the mud. And dad, absolute legend, literally like jet washing the bike, bike changes. But I definitely need to do some more running because that has absolutely killed me off. But recovery time now. The rocket, of course. She said she's earned this today, running about. We have got pizza about to go down. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully we'll actually be riding our bikes next week. But I mean, the mud is definitely here now. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.